Greetings and welcome to the Make the Best Choice channel. I'm your host, Dan V. This is my trusty Windows 10 computer. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad. I like it. It works great. It's built to business quality. And I'm a bit sad that I'm not going to be able to update it to Windows 11, this particular machine. So we're going to talk about that. For those of the 900 million of us, 900 million to a billion people who are running Windows 10, can we update? Can we upgrade to Windows 11? What should we do? How should we handle that? First of all, I want to give you a little bit of history about the Windows operating system. Windows 7 came out in October of 2009. Wow, that seems like ancient history. October of 2009. And Windows 7 was a gem. Most people liked Windows 7 best. Of all the Microsoft Windows operating system, they liked Windows 7. They'd be happy now if we were still using Windows 7, and I think I'm one of those. But Microsoft wants to progress. It wants to update its operating system. And in this case, it's forcing some hardware changes, not just software changes, to try to make computers more secure. October 2021, Windows 11 came out. So it's only been out less than, less than four years. Hard to believe, huh? But Microsoft has put all of us Windows 10 users in a bit of a box. It's basically said that on October 14th, 2025, we will no longer support your computer. You won't get security updates for Windows Defender, the Microsoft's uh, uh, anti-malware, antivirus program, and we won't give you uh, feature updates, and we won't fix problems with your Windows 10 computer. So guess what, folks? We've got to make a decision about what we're going to do with these great computers, Windows 10 computers that we own. So let me suggest some things. First of all, um, doing nothing, in my humble opinion, is not an option, all right? Doing nothing is not an option. The reason is, as time goes on, from October 14th, 2025, to the following months and years, the longer time goes on, if you're still using your Windows computer, your Windows 10 computer, and on the internet, if it's off the internet, that's a different story. But if it's still on the internet, you're really risking huge problems uh, because the bad guys are very aware that there's 900 million, maybe a billion Windows 10 users out there who have not upgraded to Windows 11 and after October of 2025, they're going to be vulnerable and they're just waiting for those tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people to go on the internet to try to attack their computers. And there's a variety of ways they can do that. If Windows has what's called a zero day problem, a zero day problem is when the, the company that's produced the operating system like Windows in Microsoft's case, if they don't know of a flaw and haven't patched it or fixed it and the bad guys find it, they can go ahead and exploit that flaw to do whatever they want to do and what that flaw is capable of doing. So it's really not even in, in my thinking, a decision that should anything that could, should be considered that you just let it go because it could cause huge problems and you could affect millions, literally millions of other computers around the world. If your computer's taken over and what's called bots are sent out to send bad software, malware to other computers or cause DDoS attacks where a website is taken down because it gets overwhelmed with uh, attempts to connect to it, that is not an option in my opinion. So please don't let your Windows 10 computer go past much past October uh, of next year. Now, it's probably going to be fine the first few weeks or months. But the longer it's on the air, on the air, yeah, I'm a radio guy. The longer it's on the internet, the more potential there is for causing great problems for you and others with that Windows 10 machine. So what's the next option we might think about? Number two, how about number one on this list, a new Windows 11 computer. That is certainly an option, either buying it now or buying it later as we approach October. It's possible Windows 12 could come out. That's number number two here on my on this list. Windows 12 could come out 
And uh, you could just go ahead and buy a Windows 12 computer if you want, or buy a Windows 11 computer if they're on sale. You know they can be upgraded to Windows 12, so it's not a huge issue. One other consideration is if you have a Windows 10 machine and you know it can be upgraded to Windows 11, go ahead and update it. Go ahead and update it. That can be done in the update settings in your Windows 10 computer, or uh, and I hope you're doing the updates. It should tell you there if your computer's eligible to be updated. If you want to be sure, I have a link down below that will allow you to load some software from Microsoft called PC Health Check. And it will let you know if your computer is eligible to be upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And it will also tell you what's missing, what you didn't have. For example, I have a Windows 10 computer, the one I just showed you, that has the hardware that's required by Microsoft. It's called a TPM, Trusted Platform Module. But it doesn't have the other two things Microsoft wants, a fast, beefy CPU that can handle uh, what Microsoft is going to put give to it, and also something called Secure Boot. So I can't upgrade this computer, and I'm not planning to do it, obviously, or try what some folks are trying to do to bypass the hardware requirements and go ahead and upgrade. I'm not going to try that. I'm just going to turn this computer into what's called a dual boot computer. I'm going to boot Windows 10 for old software I might want to run that will only run on Windows 10. And I'm going to put Linux on, the Linux operating system, so I can use either dual boot. can boot up Linux, can boot up Windows. That's one great solution, by the way. So upgrading, if you can, the 500 million of us who can do that, uh, who are, have the ability and the hardware that is needed to comply with Windows 11 requirements. If you're in the 400 million and your computer cannot be updated, then the option is just keep going until October and go ahead and save up your coins to buy a new uh, Windows 11 computer or possibly Windows 12. We'll have to see how things go. Remember, it's important to take some kind of action. Doing nothing is not an option, in my opinion. Make a plan, but make it flexible depending on the conditions at the time. For example, if Windows 12 was available, let me just encourage you to start thinking about that now and take action to do one of these things. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe this video so we can continue to build this channel. I wanna get this information out to as many people as I can. Thank you for your help with that and God bless.